Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com and in this video I'll show you how to install our new .NET Nuke skin. So let's get started. What we have here is a default installation of .NET Nuke 7 and I'm going to go ahead and log in as a host or super user. And just like any other .NET Nuke skin installation, we'll head over to Host, Extensions. We'll click on Install Extension Wizard. We'll choose for our install file. Now when you download uh, the portal package from DNN store, you're going to have a file like this. Make sure you unzip or extract this file. Once you do that, you're going to have three folders, documentation, install files, and templates. We're, installation, we're interested in the install files, so we'll go here and choose this installation file for .NET Nuke 7. This also works for any DNN 6.2 above version as well. So we'll go ahead and choose this, hit next 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 we'll accept through the licensing agreement and at this point the skin will get installed and if everything goes well we should have a installation successful message right here that's it that's how easy it is to install your dotnet nuke skin okay so now that we have our dotnet nuke skin installed how do we apply it to our existing portal or a page that's very easy as well to apply the skin to your site, all you have to do is go to the admin menu and from there we're going to browse to the skins page. So let's go to admin and we're going to change the tab here and browse to the skins tab. Right here, now that we've installed a new skin, we should see, see a new option right here. And from here I can choose uh, the skin I want to apply to the portal and the container I want to apply that's how easy it is really and if you want to in apply this skin to a specific page let's say just the home page or any other page you would do that through page appearance and from here you could choose the skin and container as well okay we'll scroll down and here's the option for page skin and page container and we can choose the one we just installed what we're gonna do next though instead of uh, applying the skin and building the site page by page, we're going to import our portal template which will create a demo site for us in minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. Now to do that, uh, what we have to do is move the template files to our .NET Nuke installation. So after we've extracted the zip file, we have three folders. and this, we have a folder called Templates. And within that, we have two folders, Pages and Portal. Now pages have templates for individual pages, so if you want to just import one page. But we're going to do an entire portal, so I'm going to go to portal. And here I have two files, portal.template and portal.template.resources. I need to move these two files over to our .NET new installation. And you can do this through a FTP. So right here, since I have my DNN site on the same machine, I see it right here on the right, which I've opened up to the root of the site. What I'm going to go do is go to portals, go to default folder, and go to. Uh, I see that there's existing templates here, so I'm going to go ahead and copy or move these two template files here as well. And I had done this in the past, so they're already there. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and replace. And there's the two files right there. That's what you need to do to just move your template over to that install to your .NET Nuke site. So once you've done that, now we can go ahead and go to Admin and we go to Site Wizard and I'm going to say I want to rebuild site from a template and I want to use the portal template. I'm going to say anything that's duplicate or any other modules that do not exist in the template, just go ahead and replace them. And I'll hit Next. At this point it's asking me to choose a skin for my site. I want this to be the portal the, the new skin we just installed. I wanted this to be the inner one, so I'm going to choose that because the home page only gets applied to the home page. I'll hit next. It's also asking me to choose a container. I'll choose the H6 heading. And at this time, it's asking me for a name of site and logo information and so forth. I do have a logo for, um, let's see, for our portal. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And I'll hit finish at this point. Now, it does take a few minutes to build the site and if your site is timing out or you're seeing an error that's uh, because your server speed is a little slow or for whatever reason it's timing out. If that is the case 
please go ahead and take a look at our documentation which has information on how you can edit your web.config to increase the execution time. Now when you do that you will no longer see any errors and so forth. So if you run into any errors make sure you do that and that will take care of the issue. So we'll just wait here for the site to get ready. And there we go. We have our new site ready. Just a couple minutes. Um, we have all the new menus created. Uh, all the columns, menus, and the pages and the contents pre-populated for us. So it's all ready to go. And that's all it took to go ahead and build a site in a matter of minutes. So that is installing .NET skin, importing the portal template. The next thing I want to show you is how to activate your skin. By default, your skin works in a trial mode. If I'm going to go into the edit mode, edit this page, I will see an option to activate my skin. Now, I don't see that option right now, and the reason I don't see it is I'm running my site on a local host. You can run your site for unlimited time of period or your skin without activating it if you're running it on local host. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that and show you that as soon as I change it to a domain name, I get an option to choose an edition of the skin and move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and choose standard edition. I'm just going to hit a continue trial to move forward and show you. Now that I'm logged in as a host user and I am not running the site on a local host, I have a option to activate the skin here. I just click on activated skin, click on activate module, and uh, I'm assuming you've already purchased a license. If not, you can do it from DNN store. Go ahead and click activate, request an activation key, type in your email address. This is the same email address that you have on your DNN store and hit request activation key. At this point uh, the skin says your activation key has been emailed to you and we wait for the activation key to appear in the email and once uh, we have an activation key we will paste it here and activate the module. So I already hear that my Outlook has a new email and I see an activation key in the email. I'm going to copy that bring it here and paste it in hit apply activation key that's it our license has been activated we no longer see the activate scan message anymore and that's it we have a .NET, uh, .NET Nuke skin that's installed we've created a demo site by importing a portal template and we've activated the skin that's it for the short video if you have any questions or concerns please do open a support ticket and let us know Thank you so much for watching the video.